My role with Council is the Economic Development Manager and we work closely with our Aboriginal uh, Community Development Officer. We're currently in the process of uh, writing a strategic plan for uh, Aboriginal um, business and employment. So we wanted to get some real businesses up. We got together with a whole group of um, uh, uh, educators, uh, placement people and interested other interested organisations in the community and we formed what we called our Aboriginal community. We had planned to launch ourselves and planned to get together with the community, the business community and um, we heard that Gen 1 was passing through. So um, Rob, our Aboriginal uh, Development Officer, rang up Gen 1 and said, hey, we're doing this, how about we join forces? And um, I think this morning was an absolutely beautiful thing. And I think that there were lots of people out there who uh, were, are really committed to wanting to do something, but they just don't know how. And this morning gave them a pathway. Oh, I think it's absolutely crucial that we that we uh, that we have these very strong role models, and of course, with our uh, achieving sports people, or in the arts, or any of that, is a, is a wonderful, wonderful thing. But it's also important that we that we harness our local role models and uh, and uh, elevate them and give them exposure, so that the uh, the youth can see well, you know. I can achieve in all sorts of areas. I think it's really important that we uh, mentor but also tutor our children, bring them up to a standard where, they, what they're, where they're excelling at school. I would speak to them like I speak to my grandchildren. You know, anything is achievable. Don't be embarrassed to ask. In a workshop or in a learning situation, I'm always the dummy that puts their hand up and says, you know, please explain, I don't understand. And giving them the confidence and the encouragement through having people there who will listen to them, not just talk at them, but listen to them and um, giving them and drawing them out. It's very, very important that they find a voice in the community and the first way to do that is to find a voice for themselves.